Welcome everyone, in this EU4 video I'll be playing in the Japanese region. Now most of you probably know that the best options would probably be Oda, Morale of Armies 10% and Infantry Combat Ability at the start is super strong for the conquest, or Hosokawa, they already have 4 provinces, they also have amazing traditions with 10% Infantry Combat Ability and 20% Galley Combat Ability, there are some other strong daimyos like Yamana with 4 provinces, but in my case I will just select this little random nation with awful traditions that won't help me in any case and I will try to form Japan as soon as I can. Let's begin. Here we are as the Kida. We only have two units at the start and our force limit is trash, only three units, but this doesn't stop us from becoming a great power. Let's go ahead and get the free company. Let's complete our estates, summon the diet. Prestige option is awesome for the 50 additional admin power. And for the privileges, I'll pick plus one mana points for each of the estates. And for merchant guilds, I will also get patronage of the arts. And for now, that's it. Let's seize lands. By only having these few privileges, we will be able to get crown lands very quickly. Now it's time to wait until the 11th of December. And in the meantime, let's get a general. I will recruit one. One siege and two shock is really good, to be honest. Here we are, 11th of December, and it's time to start the first war. Now, who do we go for? These guys have two alliances. Ogosawara only has a date, and Uesugi is just a bit too strong for me right now. So it's between these two. And I will go for Ogosawara. Right now, let's go ahead and select them as our rival. We can also rival Uesugi, I guess, and Imagawa. And let's start the war. Let's declare on these boys. I guess I won't go belligerent date. Let's just go. First of all, I want to hunt down these boys. Okay, they can come here. If I move now, I would be on the 30th of December. But I want to wait for my morale tick for the mercenaries. So let's wait a couple days. Okay, and now we can... Yeah, let's wait until he locks and let's move. He's gonna get wrecked. Yeah, that's what you get, boy. And this guy is baited. He's dead as well. Now, first of all, I want to piece out date because I want to get a separate piece and steal their money. So let's send the free K units that we have right now, the mercenaries, and let's siege him down. In the meantime, I will start improving relations with just any random nations in the Japanese region that are not my rivals. And this will help me avoid them joining the coalition later down the line. I guess I could afford a military advisor, but I don't have any good ones. If I would have a discipline or morale of armies level 1 advisor, I would probably get him. But in this case, I'll just save my money. Ooh, calling up the recruits. Additional manpower until the death of our ruler. Lose to war exhaustion or 10 prestige. I don't have that much war exhaustion. And I need prestige for my agenda, so this is a no-brainer. And we got the siege, which is awesome. We can piece these guys out. Of course, we can't core them and we cannot vassalize them. I don't want to have a very long truce, so all I'm taking is just a little bit of cash. I will be quite above my force limit, but I kind of want to get another unit, so I'll recruit another samurai. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We got this fort. That's amazing. Let's get the 15 ducats and siege them down. Let's squirt it. And just by taking this one province, we are up to 14% crowns. Now it's time to search for the next target. Oh, this could be good. We could declare on Toki. The only problem is that it's a level 3 fort, so I would need to recruit two more units. So it's not the ideal situation for me. But on the other hand, we have Uesugi. They're allied with Imagawa, Oda and Shiba and Shiba is not joining. I guess we could start this triple war. You know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. Let's go boys. You're wrecked Oda. Here's our 50 admin power. And I love a good story. National epic yearly prestige. Yeah, let's go for that. Now next, let's wipe these boys or at least try to. Looking good, looking good. Only 3k units remaining from Imagawa. We can wait until they lock and we can also wipe them. They are locked, so let's go here now. I could try and get another general. Hmm. Nah, let's just try and get level 4 military as fast as possible. Yeah, and he's sh he should be dead. We can take another 10 prestige. 
I didn't stack wipe him, which sucks. I really would like another samurai. I'll just leave these 2k units and this one I'll send to kill the troops that Uesugi is recruiting. I don't want them to recruit a large army. Now, can I chase him? Yeah, I think I can. Good, good, good. Kill this guy. He merged 2k units, which is not good, but I'll get my one samurai very soon. But honestly, that might not be enough for what I need. Yeah, I think I need more units. Let's just get these loans right quick. And at least temporarily, I'll get this company. Now that we have a lot of units, we can go and beat him. Die, son. Okay, that's good. I want to get rid of this company now. So let's disband that. I'll equip this general on these boys and send them over to Oda to be able to actually get some progress there. Now that I have good morale, I can fight. Let's kill this guy. And let's chase him. Chase, chase, chase. Go, boys. Yep, we got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's easy peasy now. Consolidate these guys. Just temporarily for a second, I'll send over one unit over here. Very tricky stuff right now. He keeps recruiting stuff. And Hatekayama is stealing this fort, which is not nice. But we cannot stop that, unfortunately. So at the very least, we will be able to get Imagawa and Oda. Okay, we got both of these forts. And what is this? We actually got this occupation? I'm not sure how that works. I've actually never seen that happen. But maybe I just don't have enough experience in Japanese region. Maybe this is something normal that happens between daimyos. If you could guys let me know in the comments if this is what usually happens. Do they just give this province to you if they can't annex it themselves? Anyways, let's get rid of these boys. It's just a bit more aggressive expansion because they were not co-belligerent. Which is kind of annoying. But we're improving relations with an any other nations. So I guess it's not that bad. Okay, we actually can't core Oda. That kind of sucks. Let's just take their money then. But what we can do is full annex Uesugi and that's a super good expansion. Now just before that, I don't want this coalition to actually form. So I will improve just a bit more relations. Forced seppuku, damn. Okay, that's a stab loss. That's not good, but we can boost it up. Oh, 50 admin now. Now that's good. Okay, I will peace out now. 90 ducats is good. I hope this coalition won't form. We need to repay the loans because we reached maximum. No problem, no problem at all. I was gonna do this anyways. Our loans are 31 ducats each now, so we can take new merchant guild loans. And of course, we can get rid of all the old 7 ducat loans. And we're basically loan free. Core all this up. 27% crownlands. Now at this point I kind of want to increase my estate's loyalty. So I'll take one more privilege and that will be supremacy or the crown. I will chill for a little bit. I will start improving even more relations. Really, really need to make sure the coalition doesn't start. And of course in the meantime I can deal with the rebels. I can seize more lands after a few months. Decrease autonomy and so on. My new rivals will be Toki. This guy and Hatekayama. Yeah, they're entering the coalition, but it's okay. We will dissolve it. It's under control. And to be honest, we could, while we're improving relations... Yeah, I wanted to chill for a bit, but we can do this. We can declare on Toki and Hatekayama would be in this war. We can just force them out of the coalition and basically we'd, we would be free. I guess we have to do this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's first try and kill this guy. And instantly I need to send my diplomat. Now these are level 3 forts which sucks. I will need more units. Um, I will start recruiting them after none of these guys have any more units themselves. So they don't wipe me somehow. Another seppuku. Jesus. And I can't even boost my stab now. At least this guy has good stats for now. Okay this guy is making a mistake which is good for me. Let's stab back up. We have the first incident. The Voku pirates and the Bahan trade. Now I guess this really depends on the place that you want to go. But in my case I will go for the open outcome. Good we finished some of the course. Let's state it up. Here we go. And one of the missions is completed. Yearly prestige and legitimacy. 
It's good. A Mago is target of coalition by four nations. That's interesting. So Renaissance is available and I will start developing this province. I really need to develop to increase my force limit. I won't spend any mill points though. Our force limit is now 7 which is much better than what we had. And let's take level 4 military technology. This fort is down which is great. Alright we can develop this at least a tiny bit more. And we should probably expand this too. Since I have level 4 military, I will focus on admin at this point. Since I will need lots and lots of admin points to core everything. Oh yeah, another 50 admin power. That is a lot of rebels. They're bound to walk into a Chicago, aren't they? Another incident and we should move forwards into open outcome. But this sucks so much. All countries within naval range gets minus 50 opinion. I guess for this one we could go with the isolationist. Because it's such a vital thing to have 50 additional opinion versus minus 50. Yeah, let's go for this one for isolationist. To finally end this war, I will only be taking the province from Toki and the money. Now let's get rid of the rebels. Okay, let's sell titles and get some more ducats. Some on the diet. We can go for the base tax option. And let's start developing this even more. I will even spend admin points. Yeah, we can afford this. 28 development is not too bad at all. Let's stab up by taking this mission. Decrease our autonomy. Okay, another mission completed. National tax modifier and yearly inflation reduction. Now we can start another war and this time versus Nambu but before that I want to seize lands right quick and let's start it. Once again only Hatekayama is joining this war so let's go. You dead boy, you dead. Oh man I kind of want this 42 ducats but 50 admin power that's too much. Bushido code completed. Quick insult to Tokugawa to get additional power projection. There we go. Now we nearly can piece these guys out so we can wait just a bit. In the meantime I will start constructing some galleys. Good, we have 30 development in this province which makes us unlock a large city for Age of Discovery and we get some splendor. Okay, the third event. Yeah, I'm going for the open outcome. Don't care about this monthly autonomy change. Good news is that we can white piece Hatakayama. And soon enough we will be able to full annex Nanbu. Here we go, we end the incident with all pirates. Additional 20% trade efficiency for a very long time, 50 years. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna declare another war. You're dead boy, you are dead ski. Here's our full annexation and 65 ducats, absolutely love this. Let's kill the rebels quickly. And I don't want these guys to enter the coalition, so I will declare once more. Oh, damn. I don't want to lose morale of armies. No way. Lots of coring to do, so let's reduce our war exhaustion before that. Okay, rebels are down. Let's move. I had to abandon the siege, but it's worth it. We can probably kill them here. Not quite. But now we should be able to. I hope so. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we got him. Okay, a little bit of a problem, we're at max allowed loans and we're losing our last ducats. I could easily fix this by unseaging this province though, but yeah, I can't get, can't afford one more month, so I will have to debase currency once. It sucks, but it's what it is. Okay, so I got this province back, we should be fine. More rebels though, oh I don't like this. Finish the sieges boys, quickly. Oh, come on, not falling at 57%. Here's our second government reform. I need money. Please give me national tax modifier. No, this fort is trolling me. If it's not gonna... Oh, my goodness. This game, this game. We got it. Finally. Finally, we got it. Oh, thanks God, Ashikaga is actually killing at least this one group. They nearly lost it. Jeez. Now this fort is just not falling and as much as I would like to continue this I need to defeat my rebels before continuing any of this. So let's get our units together and let's go before they enforce their demands in 3 months. Very tight game this one. Yeah let's get these boys out of here. Okay good. 
Things are looking up a bit. We got this fort for ourselves, so let's full annex them. I can finally disband these mercenaries. It's annexation time. Sweet, sweet, sweet. There's 1k rebels over here, need to kill them. And I need to get more units. I need some good mercenaries. Now my force limit is still crap, so I'll just get this little small group. Time to declare your own Shiba, but right before that I want to sell more titles and I want to seize the lands. Let's declare you and let's repay our 1% loans. I will need to take one more. And here we go, it's about it. Take new merchant guild loans. Here we go. Let's repay most of them. That's fine, we can rock 8 loans. Not gonna lie, playing Takeda is a bit more tough than I expected. If any of you guys have played Takeda, let me know by when were you able to form Japan. Because I only have a half of it and it's 1460 so I feel like this is pretty slow. But maybe I was just a bit unlucky with the sieges and overall alliance sets. Ooh, admin and diplo technology cost reduction for 10 years. I guess I could use that. I love that Yamana is just standing on this province and trying to siege it even though they need 9 units and only have 5. This is comedy, I wonder how long would they stay like this. And honestly our economy is pretty much fixed, we're only losing minus 1.5 ducat monthly and we're above our forest limit. I guess we can continue developing for renaissance, we don't need that much more. Yeah, let's invest all of our mill points and some diplo. We pretty much only need 2 more development. It's a bit annoying I guess having that modifier that increases our autonomy so much for 4 more years because we're not getting the most out of this province which is very highly developed. But since I started developing the renaissance here I might as well finish. Right we got these boys. Just wanna get rid of my rebels and I can declare on Yamana. Let's complete our agenda by improving this twice. How the hell Orochani got so large? Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's go declare on Yamana. They have a couple alliances, which is Shawnee and Tsutsui. But it's no problem. Let's go. Now I wonder, should I go for these guys so, or can I just leave them siege it? Will they move away? I guess we can try it out. Let's just go in their provinces. Well, so far they're not moving. Okay, we can take this. Good. And we can finish our renaissance development. We now have renaissance in this province. Spreading rumors. Now we can lose some yearly prestige and minus one diplo reputation until the death of our ruler and gain 150 diplo power. All daimyos would be displeased by this. Or we can just take some additional spy network construction. I think I'm actually willing to risk it a bit and let's go for the diplo power. So it's not that much. They're displeased minus 10 relations. It doesn't matter really. Take that boy, how about that? Now if I take an admiral, do I have a good enough navy by this point? Maybe, got even one more ship, let's see can I do something with this? Yeah I guess I can blockade him now. And this gives me a lot of freedom to do stuff like this. Sweet, it only wants a peace deal so let's take it, we cannot annex them unfortunately. Now if we beat Tsutsui, we should be also able to piece them out. Here we go. That's right. Wiped boy. Get wiped. So I guess there's no point for me to piece them out. I could full annex them. Okay, okay, we got this. That's sweet. Now I don't want to let them siege me down. And the rest of you boys come over here. Let's wreck these fools. Oh yeah, that's right. right. Perfect, all that's left is to finish this siege now. Let's get ourselves a few more transports. I will need those. Quick Wars versus Hatekayama sounds good. Oh, come on. National tax modifier loss? God damn it. This is actually looking pretty good. I think there's no chance of another coalition forming now since Auchi got so big. Our heir is about to die, which is also really good news. He completely sucks. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, come on, just fall, bro. 
I hate the forts. I hate the forts. I can never get these sieges even at 42%. Okay, okay, we got it. I guess we just need to cry more. And then things go our way. 60 ducats is super good for me. I don't care about this coalition. Let's just go. Let's just go. Another full annexation and 80 ducats this time. There's no coalition because there's no nations left to join it. Oh yeah, let's go. Finally, things are looking good. Our loans are so huge now. So yeah, we can... Yeah, we can do this. We can repay these ones. Let's take new ones, of course. And now let's take new loans. I can go ahead and embrace Renaissance, which is amazing. And of course, we can pay off at least a couple of the older ones. We're left with 7 loans, which is not too bad at all. It's manageable. But now, to be honest, if I continue just sieging this one province, I'm gonna take a very long time to consolidate the rest of this area. Yeah, let's not wait so long. Let's not wait so long. As true Giga Chads would do, let's get this grand company. Now, in exchange, I will get rid of this one. Our air is amazing! Total Giga Chad. I think he deserves this name. Kanye East. Because that's the guy that recommended me to play a Japanese nation. Okay, let's disband this guy. I will need another general. It's not too good. I mean, let's try again. Much better, much better. How many ships this guy has? Nine. And he's allied to Ito with another six, which is not very good news for me. Five galleys. Two galleys, okay. We have seven galleys and seven transport. I'll try this. If this goes wrong, I'll just go back to my coast. Oh, he no longer has that alliance. Alright, this is perfect. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. In the bag. Level 4 admin technology. I mean, we're not losing too much. We can afford this. Finishing this war soon, I'll get a bit more ducats. Yeah, we can finish this. 15 ducats, alright, that's cool. Now we have a bit more soldiers. We're very low on the map. We don't have any manpower, to be honest, but I can use these guys to at least separately siege these provinces. Oh, nice, that's good. Good modifiers. Separatists. I do have defensive edict here. Yeah. yeah, good. And we finally lost a negative modifier for autonomy. That sucked a lot. We got up to 82% here in our most rich province so at least now we will be able to get some autonomy back we will reduce it 50 admin is always welcome oh my god infestation come on finish this fort i need to destroy the rebellions go 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 finish it nice so for a second i can leave this and let's go kill the rebels first later on i'll come back and finish this guy march guys we need to make this quick good 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 move forward all right, we beat him. Let's quickly get back there as he's unseaging. We have him, boys. We have him. Just need to quickly get rid of this guy. 75 Diplo. I'll take that for some inflation. That's fine. Okay, he's dead. Rebellion time. And full annexation time. Oh, that's a lot of ducats. Sweet. Our gardening capacity is not that good. I'll go ahead and take additional now we can concentrate this a little bit and let's begin pouring bit by bit level 4 diplo is ours we're getting back on track oh yes siege ability and for defense awesome i built even more ships and now i have definitely a better navy than a chicago because lots of their ships are just transports. I'll get this land force limit advisor. He has no leader. Jeez. Now I'm pretty sure I would not be able to take all the provinces together with Ito. So I might want to still get rid of them first. So before this war I will reduce autonomy in all of the provinces. And then we can go. Yeah that's good. Definitely need a boost. Let's kill him. Let's kill him. Yep, he's gone. Sword of the Daimyo. 25 prestige or Diplo reputation? Now, I don't really care about a Diplo reputation, but I already have pretty much max prestige, so I can take it. Let's delete this fort. Kill the rebels. Oh, there's lots of rebels. We'll annex this guy. My force limit is much higher, so I can afford a free company. We can quickly summon the diet. Yeah, let's go for a temple and let's seize lands. 
30% is nice. And we have everything we need for this. We can go and finally declare this war. We will lose tree stability. I don't have points to restore it right now, but I don't care about it. I will restore it during the war. Let's just go. Oh, the rebels spawned right on top of me. That sucks. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. We got him. He's screwed. He's screwed. We are now one of the great powers. You're done, boy. You're done. Let's upgrade our rank to kingdom. Reduce our war exhaustion just a bit. Deal with thousands of rebels. Now I will need to transport a few of my units to this province. Oh, he has actually... 4,000, okay. Hmm. No, I'm not going for it. He has 4 shock. I'll probably die. I guess we can just wait to regain a bit more manpower for the mercenaries and then send them instead. Or I could just go and get one regular unit samurai. Wait, do I even need to do this? Can I just annex him right now? Well, I could if I wait a bit. Oh no, I don't have the admin points to spare. Oh, come on. I'll just increase the autonomy, I guess. At least it's not in Suruga once more. Yeah, it's done. I didn't even need to fight him in the last province. Let's go send our demands. We prevail the fall of Kyoto. Let's go, boys. Win political supremacy. Now, this is awesome because we get 50 prestige and this gets converted into each type of monarch power. So we get 50 of each. Verma claims on South and Eastern Korea as well. Unite Japan, gain permanent claim on Okinawa. And we can go ahead and click this button. Country changes to Japan. We abolish the shogunate government reform. The rank changes to kingdom, but we are already a kingdom, so that doesn't matter. Legitimacy, we already have that. 100 of each points is super helpful though. Obtain new missions, permaclaim on whole Japan, new traditions and ambitions, and until the end of the game, samurai force limit plus 10%. Let's go. Yeah, give us new traditions, sure. And we can actually keep this amazing orange color, which is awesome. I will keep it. I don't want the generic red one. But that's about it. It took a while, 1472, we formed Japan. And it was a bit challenging. I've never played this nation. And I've never played Japan in 1.35 at all. So far, I've only played it in the previous patch in 1.34, I believe. And I did it as Oda. So I believe it was much easier because of the good traditions this nation did not have that it only had cavalry stuff and we didn't even use cavalry at all so it was a nice challenge and i love this map color it was a very fun campaign now i'm not sure should i continue this you guys let me know in the comments if i should continue playing as japan and of course we have a new mission tree so there would be lots of stuff to do regarding the economy we're losing a bit of decades right now we have some loans, we have 12 loans actually, but our loan amount increased quite a lot. We now have 200 ducat loans instead of these 110 ducat loans. 30% crown loans, which is good. We can take some new privileges, of course, whenever we want. We can take reform progress growth, even army tradition decay. Some really good stuff for merchants, like merchant trade power, state maintenance and so on. But yeah, this is where I will end this video. As always, if you liked it, make sure to click the like button. It really helps the channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, make sure to do so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.